Sterling. I have watched your YouTube videos and in addition to purchasing six bottles of wood, I have purchased other products from you in the past, including Sexual Dominance Escalation. Congratulations and thank you. I've also been a paying member of John MLD's Masculine Empowerment Network and King Dre's Ultimate Ladies Man Community. Both great communities, by the way. And I've learned a lot from your lectures in such forums. The main problem facing me, as you might have guessed from my purchase of wood, is erectile dysfunction. I started having it occasionally as a teenager and it became more frequent in recent years now that I'm a middle-aged. Interesting. I try to live a healthy life, including frequent aerobic Exercise, weightlifting, eating foods such as wild salmon, grass-fed beef, pasture-raised eggs, cruciferous veggies, fruit, watermelons, pomegranate. In addition to giving wood a try, I'm also considering trying a ketogenic diet to see if it helps. I've been to numerous doctors, including six different urologists, and have tried various medications such as Cialis for ED to no avail. That gap gives me a major, major clue. The last urologist I saw told me that, that I have venous leakage from hypertonic pelvic floor dysfunction and offered to refer to me to a surgeon to get a penile implant but that would require removing perfectly healthy erectile tissue to make room for the implant. Correct. Do not do not get the surgery. Jesus Christ, no. Do not get the surgery. I've tried using penis pumps and various cock rings, including uh, Ziala. I'm not sure what that is. I've been to multiple physical therapists to treat the underlying pelvic floor dysfunction to no avail. Some doctors have told me that my underlying condition is psychosomatic and referred to me to psychiatry and various forms of psychotherapy, all to no avail. I think the psych psychiatric drugs I tried may have made the problem worse. Yes, I guarantee they did. I'm planning to start EMDR, eye movement and desensitization processing therapy for my ED. I realize that you're not a doctor, but as a former porn star, what would you do if you were faced with a problem such as mine? Thanks for your attention and uh, for your videos and products. Well, first of all, you're welcome. Uh, there seems to be two potential issues here. I mean, this guy's saying, the last urologist I saw told me I have venous leak from hypertonic pelvic floor dysfunction. So if you have venous leakage, um, well, that's one of the supplement, one of the key supplements we put into wood is horse chestnut extract. And that is specifically there to treat venous leakage. So if it is a venous leakage problem, that will definitely help. Um, and if it's pelvic floor dysfunction, I would also, I mean, I don't know if, any, again, you're going to have to compare, uh, sort of compare the notes I'm giving you here to the notes your doctors have given you, these urologists have given you. Um, but I would highly suggest you get stuck into some Kegel exercises in case you don't know what Kegels are. Uh, that, and okay, imagine when you're, if you're peeing and you're trying to stop the, if you try to stop the flow of pee coming out of your dick, right, mid midstream, that kind of clench you do under your balls, or between your, your balls and your goods, that kind of area, that feeling of stopping the pee, that is one, like, front, what we call a front Kegel, uh, and, like, that clenching and tightening sensation, and then the opposite of that is the, the feeling, the sensation you, you do when you push the pee out faster, that's kind of flattening of that area. It's kind of what feels like you're pushing down a bit. That is a reverse Kegel. Performing uh, like both of those, doing doing a r exercise routine of both those kinds of Kegels with with like with the holds in between will strengthen all that pelvic floor region. In addition, by the way, to doing things like squats and deadlifts, uh, kettlebell swings too. They'll, all those things will help to strengthen your pelvic floor. Uh, hip thrust as well. And help all help with that entire pelvic region. So it, if it's a pelvic floor dysfunction and, and a weak pelvic floor in conjunction with um, venous leakage, those two uh, kind of physical approaches could see some massive results for you. Uh, however, if you've already tried that kind of stuff, then I would suggest that it is more psychosomatic than anything else. I wouldn't say you should take prescription drugs or anything like this. I'd be very curious to... to I mean, you, you've mentioned that... Um, it started occasionally as a teenager, right? So that means it wasn't happening every time. It means it was kind of an inconsistent thing. If it was a physical thing, it would be it would be every time. That's my that's my analysis of this. But because it's occasional, it doesn't. It that leads me away from believing that it is a physical problem and more of a mental problem. Um, so I'd be very curious for you to look. You should look back. Think, try to remember back to when these when the, the different instances of this happening as a teenager and more recently and try to identify the commonalities between them is is it when you're with girls who you consider be to be incredibly hot and you're too nervous i would suspect so if it's a psychosomatic thing um is it with girls who you perceive like where you perceive to be you're putting yourself under a lot of pressure or you feel like there's a profession a pressure to perform is that when it happened if these uh, if any of this is sounding familiar 
then it is 100% a psychosomatic thing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an anxiety caused, an anxiety induced erectile dysfunction. Because the, the erection is a relaxation response. You have to be relaxed and calm and aroused to achieve a, a full erection. Um, if you're tense and nervous and anxious, you're not going to achieve an erection. It's, your, it's a fight or flight response. Your body's going to, is preparing to battle rather than to fuck. Uh, so I would suggest this is, again, I don't know all the context, so you're going to have to fill fill in the bit of the gaps here yourself um, as I'm going along. But I would suggest you all, if those physical things don't sound right to you, if you've tried them before and haven't had any results, and I would highly suggest, um, yeah, trying to tackle this from a mental approach. And the, the main mental approach I give guys is generally giving themselves permission to fail. Uh, it's what I, it's also what I call a selfish pervert frame of mind. So like you think of the woman as your sexual muse and she is kind of there for the ride for your own perverse pleasure. So there's less, of, less pressure to perform and less pressure to, to, you know, to fuck her for hours and hours and on, on end or something like that, or to make her come a million times. It's more of a selfish, but perverse attitude towards sex. So you're exploring her body for, for your own perverse amusement, amusement. and that, allow, that kind of takes off a lot of, a lot of the pressure and, uh, and anxiety that men can can sometimes feel around sex and around performing under under sex. Another thing that actually helps a lot, uh, and this this personally helps me, maybe will help you too, is dirty talk. But it's 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 kind of fifty fifty. Like I'm I'm doing the dirty talk to my lady for her to get her off. But the act of saying very, very confident, sexy, arousing, erotic, perverted things in her ear gets me aroused as well and causes me to go to full mast. So dirty talk is another tool in your toolbox that you can try to employ and start, start playing around with, I think. You might see some, some very impressive results of that as well. So there's a few different approaches for you to take, mate. And uh, look, I, I hope they... I hope if, you, if the first one works, then you're good. You don't need to worry about the rest of them. But one of these should do the job for you, depending upon uh, yeah what the exact exact cause of this problem is.